Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. There is apparently a very bad exploit or a very bad problem happening with Terra Raid Dance. And I got a message from Slow Mo Camo stating uh, what this exploit is. But I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. And then I'm going to tell you exactly where to do it. Because it's, it's going to matter with the whole community experience. Because at the same time, Pokemon needs to be aware of this. While we also can... Uh, do this in a very safe and a controlled way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna join somebody for a raid and before we go into that i'm gonna show you my bag and when i open up my bag i'm gonna go to my terra rewards or just rewards in general i get from a terra raid den and i want you to take note of some of the items i may have so we're gonna be doing a normal terra raid that's a five star and i want you to see that right now i currently have 11 normal terra shards okay i have 11 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my buddy, Chef Keith. He's from another video, if you remember our uh, multiplayer video. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to join the Poke Portal. We're going to go ahead and do that. And what I'm bringing with me to this raid is a very low level Pokemon. It's not a problem. Uh, it's it's a baby. It's a baby. It's a level level six uh, Azuril. You know, shouldn't be anything crazy. All right. So just pop in this link code. This Oh, I need to connect to the internet. Okay, connect to the internet. This video is pretty raw. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, I'm not trying to make this like, it's not like a really professional video, you know? It's more like, a, you know, PSA video. Wow, I have a lot of six star raids. This is, this is going to be covered online by a lot of people. Apparently the person who messaged me also has messaged Wolfie and Wolfie put out a video as well. And, you know, if it went to Wolfie, it's pretty much out there. <laughs> so everyone's going to see it. Um, all right, so this is the raid. Um, five star Tatsugi. We have two little baby Pokemon, right? You guys saw my Terra raid shards that we got. We're going to get some NPCs here. And obviously, the goal of this is that we're not going to one shot this. <laughs> it's not going to work. This is not a level one, uh, you know, Rattata strat where you get to one HP with a focus sash and you nuke the Terra raid. So let's start the raid. There's the Tatsugiri. Oh boy. Oh, at least you know what? At least the at least the computer players did not bring anything that was uh weak to the fight. Alright, I, I did a little nice for countering here. Bubble beam. Alright, our timer is running low. Okay, Chef Keith is knocked out. Tatsugiri still living. Okay, I'm, I'm still not dead. Okay, I'm dead. There we go. Uh, zero down. So, while the while while this battle is happening, I, I just want to state that... Yes, this is going to be something where we're, we're purposefully trying to lose. And this is going to be something either very bad for the community, because I know people are going to go online and try to do this. I really suggest do not go online in public lobbies and do this. Because most likely you might get banned. I don't know if they're going to run a ban wave or Game Freak's going to run a ban wave because of you jumping into raids and ruining the experience for other people. But what you probably want to do is hop over to the Discord, uh, join a group, a private session when you're doing this uh, glitch or exploit, and lose the raid there or bring low level Pokemon. Now, what's going to happen is whoever is hosting the raid. They're not going to get the benefits of this. So the host has to be a very nice donator or the host has to be aware of what rewards happen in that raid. Once the host knows the rewards that happen in the raid because they're raid resetting, by raid resetting, what they do is when they finish the fight or they save before the Terra raid shard fight and then after that, they go in, everyone beats it, they see the rewards and then the host decides to close their game and reopen their game and then come back in. What that's going to do is that's going to reset it completely which means the rewards are all the same and that's usually how someone does a terra raid post or a reset where everyone can keep farming that's how we do it for the dittos that's how we do it for everything so in this case the host is going to do in the entire raid and everyone who joins is just going to bring really really garbage pokemon that can just i don't know maybe self-destruct every time that's a great way to take care of yourself actually that might be the better strat to go even faster because every time you self-destruct you're going to lose a lot of time and basically what you want to do is get knocked out here. And then we're going to see at the end if this is going to work. Is this not going to work? Because right now we are connected online. We are in a private lobby. 
We've made our own little friend group. We're not joining public lobbies to do this. And like I said, I really suggest that you guys don't do this on public lobbies. <laughs> you, I don't want to spread a bad wave. Um, you know, just don't throw raids, please. All right, this touch of area oh, 20 seconds. That's going to eat time. We might have a chance. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that uh, our level of six Pokemon have done a chip into Tatsugiri, which means it's possible. Yeah, I think I think self-destruct might be the option here. Anything to sabotage yourself. If it's meant to be a sabotage lobby, you should sabotage yourself. I just hope I just hope nobody tries to get banned from this. <laughs> please don't get banned from this. Please, please do this in private. Yeah, do this in private lobbies. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, last last session. Go Azuro, the early riser. Mark, Pokemon, baby. Water Pulse. I'm dead. And then here, Tatsugiri should do it in a complete raid explosion and send us out. And then we're going to go check the rewards and see what we got. Let's open up the bag now that we're out of here and check. And you can see that my normal Terra shards have went from 11 to 13. And most likely, if the raid was to drop ability patches or ability capsules... And mints. I don't know if I got a mint from this, but I remember I had one salty herba. Uh, so if, if I have another salty herba, that means we probably got herbas too. Let me go check herbas. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I have one salty. Okay, I didn't drop any herba. But you saw the terra shards increase, which basically means the rewards silently will drop for everyone else. This is a problem. I hope Game Freak does patch this problem. Um, the only way they're going to know about these problems is if we make these problems aware to them. So please do this responsibly. Do not get banned. Do this privately. I will set up Discord lobbies for throwing, throwing farms just for everyone. And um, make sure to subscribe, share this around with a friend. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.